guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel here and you're watching fitness and meals as you can tell from the title of the video I am doing the Chloe or oh, I have done I did the Chloe things challenge if you don't know about Chloe Ting, she's a fitness blogger on YouTube she's very famous everybody has done her challenge and I was watching thousands of videos on YouTube come out come across and people are talking about the results how great it is how you get abs in two weeks so i was like huh that sounds like something for me so i thought yeah why not try it out and see and i mean it can do me harm it will only do me good now this came in at the time when i just began i just began my fitness journey and my fitness vlogs as you can tell my channel is still a baby channel it's still new so so i'm like yeah for some quick results why not try out chloe ting's challenge now chloe ting if you ever watch my video girl you rock i mean she's so pretty oh she's like the most beautiful person on this planet so i tried out her challenge and man oh man i am amazed at the results guys all right guys before we start with this chloe things challenge let's begin by weighing in and see how much weight we are starting with there we go stepping on a scale all right the scale says i'm 61.8 kilograms the first day was mm, a struggle i can't say that i wasn't the most unfit person but still i was not the most fit person then when I tried the challenge right now I'm a bit fitter I am stronger my abs are a bit used to work out but then my abs were still baby abs they were you know I had to hold them with some care some you know some concern so I didn't need to when I overwork my abs the following day I had so much pain Whew, man oh man but anyway the first day was hard I was just struggling to finish through the workout I fell a couple of times I felt like giving up of course I had my own routines that I usually do but not the clothing is really uh, it's really something it's, it's, a, it's a challenge that's why it's a challenge it's really because you I, I, I like to work I like to work out but then I don't like the, the abs workouts they're not my favorite though <laughs> because you have to engage your core and you know how it feels you know so I, I wasn't a big fan of uh, abs workouts. I did a lot of cardio exercises. I did a lot of uh, other exercises, fitness exercises. But the cardio exercise for the for the abs exercises, mm, that was not my best, you know. But for now, I think I'm loving my abs. I'll get up for you a little bit, and you'll get to see. There's still a work in progress, though, but. Yeah, they're there. They're coming around. <laughs> day number one, guys. The most dreaded day. Oh my god, the beginnings are never easy. So was it. It wasn't easy for me. Day number one was burning me, guys. I fell. I tripped. I got up. I fell again. Ah. I had totally zero motivation. I was yawning through my workouts. I had no energy. But then I just keep pushing. I kept pushing and telling myself, Rachel, you began this. Get your ass up and get going. Did you see that yawn? <laughs> I just kept, for some reason, I was just fatigued and just yawning all the way. Abs workouts are never my favorite. Day number two came, I knew exactly what to expect, but then I was failing to balance my movements. I wasn't coordinating my movements, my workouts. I kept tripping, I kept... I don't know what was happening. And then I was on the sidelines cheering myself up. Go Rachel! Go girl! Go Rachel! Go girl! You can do it! Yeah. Today is day number three of Chloe Ting's Two Weeks Thread Challenge. So let's get started again, guys. Yeah, I'm seeing some 
results on day number three my tummy is a bit tighter day number three was a bit easier than the, the, the past two days because then i knew exactly what to expect i knew the workouts my energy levels were building up i had the motivation building up as well so i was excited to, to try the challenge so I kept pushing and actually I was enjoying the workout at this at, at this time. By day number five, my energy levels had doubled, my motivation was 100%, my energy was up there, I was pushing and I was pushing. And by the time day number eight came guys, I was bursting full of energy, I had the motivation to go, I kept pushing and I was excited because actually I was now enjoying the workout. guys day 11 now that we are closing almost the 14th day my energy was just way up there it was too much I was full of motivation I kept working myself like a horse and by the time we came to day number 14 I was a powerhouse and actually my, my tummy was flatter my muscles were not aching anymore So by the time day number 14 came, I was sailing through like a pro. Uh, uh, let's go baby. Uh, let's go. was day number 14 yay I did it I did it I know yeah it's not easy but I survived it uh-huh and by the look of things I think I got myself some abs huh? what do you think guys tummy is tight mm. I think if we compare me on the scale, I have lost weight. It's measuring 57.9. I can't believe that. And last time I measured, I was somewhere in the 60s. And if you haven't tried out this challenge, guys, if you're a fitness fanatic, go ahead and try it out and you'll see the results. But one thing I want to tell you guys, uh, I did Chloe Tink's challenge but then I put in a bit of a twist to mine because I wanted to see results very quick and I wanted to be sure that I really see results at the end of the two weeks. So what I did, I tried to, of course I usually eat clean but then I tried to put a better, not a better, I tried to put a more strict diet a bit. So I did some intermittent fasting but not for long, like I would have breakfast and then of course, usually my breakfast is oatmeal and some fruits in there. But then during from breakfast up to dinner, I ate really, really, really uh, little. Like I would during lunch, I would eat an apple, then I would drink a lot of tea. So things that don't have so much calories so that I, I make sure I don't put on the weight that I'm trying to shed. So maybe that helped a bit. And of course, I, so like I always tell you guys, every little milestone is worth celebrating so this is my abs cake 
I baked myself a little cute heart. You know, anything nice in our lives, we have to love it. So I love my abs. <laughs> Happy abs day to me. Happy abs day to me. Happy abs day, dear abs. Happy abs day to me. And of course, I made it with oatmeal and water and some raisins and some blueberries oh and some honey and agave syrup this is very delicious and healthy totally healthy gluten-free you can never go wrong with this cake if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and i guess i'll see you next time in the next video bye bye